I always wanted to be a winemaker. I never been forced, you know, by my father or my grandfather. Uh, my family has been, you know, working in Montalcino for a very long time, but I always wanted to be a winemaker. Tuscany is a, you know, there's so many different landscapes because as you go closer to the coast, of course, uh, you will see a little less uh, hills, like um, still hilly landscape, uh, but of course a completely different climate. Whereas if, if you drive north to the northern part of Tuscany, uh, towards the Chianti area, so northern, northern Montalcino, again, the, the landscape and the weather will be much different. And that brings, you know, to the beautiful diversity of uh, Tuscan wines and Italian wines. Like, like every small region makes uh, amazing wines different to their neighbor, uh, neighbor area. The uh, Rosso di Montalcino is our younger, uh, younger wine. Uh, it is made with 100% uh, uh, Sangiovese coming from our younger vineyards. So we wait until the vineyards are 15 years old uh, and we use vineyards that are 15 up to 25 years old in age. That's really important because the roots of those vines go deeper into the soil and so they catch water and nutrients even in uh, uh, dry years. Uh, the wine spends 12 months in oak barrels and then six months in the bottle. So you get the uh, structure and the tannins from the uh, barrel aging, but then the barrel aging makes the wine softer, easy and approachable. In fact, Rosso di Montalcino is all about juice, uh, fruity you know, flavors, um, red cherries, a nice freshness. So it's a very versatile wine also for the pairing with the food. And then we have the Brunello di Montalcino, uh, which is the Rosso di Montalcino's uh, uh, bigger brother. Uh, it's made with, uh, also with Sangiovese, and in this case, we utilize uh, older uh, vineyards. So we wait until they get 25 years old before they used for the Brunello. 25 up to 54 years old. Uh, the aging is much longer. Of course, we have to follow strict rules for the production of both wines. And for Brunello, we aged the wine for three years in big uh, barrels, 5,000 liters inside, made with uh, French oak. And then one year in the, uh, in the bottle. And finally, we have the uh, Brunello di Montalcino Riserva, which is our um, single vineyard wine. Uh, the grapes are sourced exclusively in the Paganelli vineyard. That is the oldest vineyard uh, that we have in the property. Uh, it's a um, 40 acres uh, vineyard. And the Riserva is made only in the best vintages, in the five star vintages. So we don't make it every year, but when we do, the wine spends four years uh, in big barrels and then one year in the bottle and it's only made in a very small batch of 40,000 bottles. So in the years where we don't make a Brunello Riserva, those grapes will be used for the classic bottling of Brunello. So you will have like, a, an, if you want elevated Brunello uh, in uh, smaller, smaller vintages, which are not necessarily like uh, bad quality. They're just uh, a different non five star vintages where we don't make the Riserva. And in that case, all the grapes goes there. The same applies with the Rosso because some of the Brunello grapes may be used and are used very often for the Rosso di Montalcino, so in that case you get a Rosso di Montalcino that has a bigger structure, big intensity, of course, uh, higher longevity.